Hey guys, Thrasher here, and we've got some brand new balance changes on the way. Let's talk about it right now. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go menu and news and there's two different announcements here so let's talk about the balance changes announcement first character balance changes number three details they're essentially just telling us they're going to take the five least used sparking characters or five least used characters i guess it says in pvp from super space time duel number 18 we'll look at the super space time duel number 18 stats here in just a second and it says the adjustments are scheduled for late february so we probably won't be getting them this week but i'm thinking next week is probably when we'll get them so let's go ahead and back out and talk about about the actual characters here so the only big one that i see in this list of 20 that i thought would be there and i just can't seem to find him in this top list of 20 here is super saiyan god goku he's a phenomenal character and he is not one of the top 20 most used characters he's got to be like 21 through 25 it would be insane if they had to buff super saiyan god goku they won't um Here's the thing. There's three characters that are absolutely getting a buff here. Number one is the Spirit Bomb Goku, the blue one. Number two is the Purple Turles. I will I will bet any amount of money those two characters are going to get a buff. The third one that absolutely needs a buff, but I don't know if they're going to get the buff just because of new characters that we've been getting, is the Blue Pan. She's a garbage character. She's terrible. But we've had a lot of female warriors. Space Time Duel number 18, I think, came out right around when we got Kale and Khalifla, so I guess it's possible that people have been running her in that time frame, and maybe she's not in the bottom five, but I think she's going to be. And then another unit that will probably end up on the uh, the on deck circle for getting some balance changes is the blue Super Saiyan Broly. I think he also needs some balance changes pretty badly, and I haven't seen anyone running him in quite a while now, so he might actually get some balance changes. With that being said, those first two are an absolute shoe in I, I, I will bet any amount of money that the Spirit Bomb Goku and the Purple Turles are going to get a buff because I I don't remember ever running into them in PvP. I don't remember the last time I saw them. It's probably been six, seven, eight seasons since I've seen either one of them in a single PvP match. So they are at the very bottom of the list. With that being said, let's go down here and just look at the extreme characters. A couple things that seem uh, a little weird to me. I thought that wherever Dodori is at down here, number 12, I figured he'd be a little higher just because I still have seen a lot of people running the Frieza Force team where they run that yellow yellow final form Frieza and this Dodoria. I figured he'd be a little bit higher. Um, a lot of these ones up here still make sense. And one of the things to take note of here is the way that they're figuring this out is not the three units that you take in a combat it's the six units on your team as a whole so that's why you see number four here is raditz that's because he gives a huge health buff to all saiyans so a lot of people will run him on their team even though he never actually sees combat um and that's sort of a problem with any unit that has an amazing z ability they could be garbage in the far future they will never get a buff because they're just sitting on the bench for z ability purposes hopefully they they change this a little bit in the future and they don't look at the 20 most used characters they look at the 20 most often brought into combat characters and they they alter that in the future but for now i think we'll be okay and i'm really excited to see what they do with these bottom five characters because if we think about the last set of balance changes the the very first set was pretty underwhelming but the second set of balance changes all of those characters became very viable one of them became essentially top tier in fact god tier for about one season um i'm hoping that they can get something similar to that as opposed to something like the first set of balance changes where it didn't really buff the characters a lot so we have five old characters that become powerhouses that may make other teams viable again. As you'll notice, there's not a lot of androids in here, so it's very possible that one of the older android units that just doesn't get used anymore gets a buff, and that makes the android team far more viable than they are at the moment, which would be awesome. So hopefully we see some diversity. That's pretty much all I've got for this video. If you guys think I missed anyone that's a really important character that's just absolute garbage, throw it down below, and we'll see if they get a balance change too. And if you guys like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.